another big drug company, another historic settlement. This time, it's AstraZeneca paying out over a half billion dollars for illegally marketing its antipsychotic drug Seroquel. And for the third time in little over a year, the national Scheller PC law firm headquartered in Philadelphia has represented a leading whistleblower in a massive pharmaceutical fraud settlement. By pushing Seroquel for unapproved purposes, AstraZeneca made patients into guinea pigs in an unsupervised drug test. The only way this fraud comes to light is when someone on the inside, a whistleblower, takes the risk to report the wrongdoing. The whistleblower in this case had previously been a whistleblower in the case involving Zyprexa with Eli Lilly. After the whistleblower lost his job at Lilly, he began looking for another job. Eventually, after uh, he did find another job with AstraZeneca, and then of course he learned that AstraZeneca was doing the same thing. Now the whistleblower has a great amount of integrity and decency. He risks his job, he complains to the company about it, they don't do anything about it. He continued to work for AstraZeneca while reporting to the U.S. attorney under court supervision of his case what was happening. And as a result, he lost his job at AstraZeneca and eventually uh, had no place to go. Congress has been increasing the coverage of key whistleblower cases, rights, so you're seeing more statutory rights passed and you're starting to see states pass laws providing uh, whistleblower uh, protection and compensation for blowing the whistle. So you're going to start seeing this effort and I think it's going to make our society a lot safer.